And we're back with another episode of Before You Buy, that show where we give you some straight up gameplay and our first impressions of the latest games releasing. Uh, today we got a quick one for you, it's for Crossfire X. Now this is a new version of Crossfire, a multiplayer shooter that's huge in China and South Korea. It's been going strong since it first released in Korea in 2007 and has actually broken records as one of the world's most played video games by player count. Uh, One billion users in 80 countries. So it was only a matter of time before someone smelled money and got wise and tried to bring it to even more territories. And now here we are. Crossfire X is a new English version for Xbox Series X, S, and One that has a multiplayer component and optional single player campaigns that are actually made by Remedy, believe it or not, the folks behind Alan Wake and Control. So we couldn't help but be curious here, you know? I, we jumped in and we've got some very brief first impressions just because the game kind of just released with no fanfare. Uh, reviewers weren't given early access for it or anything, so everybody's going in blind, so we wanted to give you just some rough information here. Uh, this footage is captured on an Xbox Series X. Now, buckle up, you know, I'm gonna be spicy on this one. It is a weird product. Uh, first, specifically for the multiplayer, it's more or less a Counter-Strike game. I'd even go further to say that this is just a messier, more generic CSGO with a bunch of gross free-to-play elements strapped on it. Straight up, I'm not into it, and it doesn't really seem like any of us here at Game Ranks really are, personally. I, I think there are so many other competitive shooters out there that work harder for your time and your money, uh, but let me explain. Now, there's classic mode and modern mode, where modern mode gives you sprint and ADS and some pre-mission bonus choice stuff, as well as kill streaks in certain maps classic mode is just good old point and shoot no ads which i do like in many games combat is fast and chaotic and it's small team objective based usually for modern mode you have two maps and for classic mode you have four the main modes are point capture and search and destroy which is like a bomb drop off or bomb defusal does it sound familiar <laughs> now uh, certain maps have little spins on the modes in terms of pacing and layout and then there's also an infection mode and TDM. It's all fine if in need of a bit of fine tuning, you know, but it's just all lifeless. Other than some flashy menu presentations, uh, there really is nothing to any of this. It's really rough on the eyes. It just, it looks kind of old. I mean, you can see for yourself here. It's a generic, bland shooter man versus other shooter man team, and that's all fine and good, but when the shooting is so simple and just kind of middle of the road, it just makes it all that much worse. I'll play a generic looking game if it's actually got fun core gameplay, but Crossfire X just seems unsurprising and simple and also just a hot mess. Uh, also, uh, we're clearly not very good at the game, but that's besides the point, because gameplay wise, nothing feels quite right. It feels, weirdly enough, like a PC shooter slapped into a console without any fine tuning that should come with that. Uh, feedback and shooting feel weird and messy. Like the sound for the weapons is fine, but the feedback, the controller, the way hit registration works, nothing about it really feels great. Nothing feels satisfying. There are options to adjust sensitivity and aiming and stuff like that, but no options really make it perfectly smooth. If anything, too, the, the modern mode with ADS just even doesn't feel right at all. I've had the game crash on me a ton already, just in the main menus, over the course of the day, and any players more than a few feet away move around in front of us like f at 15 frames per second. It looks really bad. Uh, anytime uh, you move too fast in menus or bounce out to the Xbox home, the game either hangs up for a good 10 seconds or completely freezes up entirely. It's frustrating when you just wanna hop in for a game or two, it's messy. Now, along with that, it's got all the free-to-play trappings you're either gonna love or hate. You know, multiple tabs dedicated to stuff front and center, from a battle pass to a full store to spend money in it for guns and character skins. Uh, but many of which, aside from a few really cool standouts, are just mostly uninspired and not cool and not even worth the effort. They just want you to pay up. Uh, this is all a real shame because on the total flip side, the game also offers, like I said, two story-based single-player campaigns uh, with multiple chapters made by Remedy. Now, it doesn't seem to be Remedy's finest work by any means. This is definitely just a contract gig for them, I think. But it, it's just like a bunch of dumb roller coaster rides. It's like a Call of Duty campaign. It's cinematic with big action set pieces, uh, but it's, it's messier and cheaper and a bit more forgettable. 
Still, interestingly enough, it's way, way more fun to play than the multiplayer. It's two linear adventures that like you download and load into separately, uh, and each are on different sides of the opposing factions. And in it, you go through these shooting galleries, stuff blows up, and it looks and plays way better. It's also running on a different game engine, which is wild. It's still not perfect. There's a really half-baked lean out of cover implementation that just makes it feel like an old console game. And it can still be kind of buggy. I've had weird sound and visual glitches, but it can make for a little bit of mindless fun. You have this cool ability you can trigger that slows down time, but time still moves the more you move, kind of like super hot slow motion movement mixed with the crazy effects and explosiveness of something like fear. You know, blood sprays and stuff explodes everywhere. And it can be pretty thrilling despite enemies being pretty much mindless fodder for a lot of the game. Uh, it does throw some cool scenarios your way, some sniper scenes, some chase scenes, a lot of it like surprisingly satisfying. I'll call it cheap thrills, you know? Sometimes you'll quickly swap between characters like one guy on the ground and one guy sniping and it can be creative in spots, especially man, because uh, you can see Remedy doing their thing here. You know, flashy graphics and visuals, a lot of cool mind bendy trippy scenes and inner mind monologuing, and some elements of real live action video in spots. It has some wild moments and I was genuinely surprised with what I saw. When Crossfire X was initially first revealed, all that trailer footage, none of that was from the multiplayer. All the cool stuff is in the campaign, for better or for worse. Now, it's just a weird package as a whole. The multiplayer side, sure, it, it has potential, I guess. There was a reason it was big in other countries, I just don't really totally know what it is. Uh, if console players are looking for a CSGO experience, this could eventually be it, but just not quite yet, not anytime soon. They have a lot of stuff in here ready to go, of course, like custom loadouts and gun skins and a level up system and all that, but it needs a lot of fine tuning, maybe less obnoxious monetization and a lot of bug fixes and more personality. I don't know how you can add personality with a patch, but yeah, I wouldn't recommend this really right now, simply because, like I said, there are so many other stronger shooters out there begging for your time, begging to be played, begging to entertain you, and Crossfire X just really phones it in. But hey, that's just us. This is a before you buy, a quick one. We give you some pros, some cons, and a lot of our personal opinion. And now we want to hear yours down in the comments. Let us know how you're feeling if you immediately downloaded it and jumped in and tried to play. If you're enjoying it, hey, don't let us dunking on it make you feel bad. You do you, have fun. Uh, but if you're playing it and you're not really enjoying it, let us know why. Uh, let us know really your experience with any of these crossfire type games or anything like that. We'd love to hear from you. Uh, and if this video helped you out, informed you a little bit, all you got to do is click the like button. It very much helps us out. Of course, if you're new, consider subscribing and hitting that notification bell. But as always, thanks for watching, and we'll see you guys next time.